All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, be a great example to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutation, and hopefully they got there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds. In the name of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom unto the hopefully the believers, the listeners whom have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you how about your mouth shot and what i want to get into today all right this morning is pretty much how every believer has to be fully persuaded you know in their own mind you know one thing about this ministry is going to be your individual belief you know that's going to invoke you all right to do what to repent you know and constantly you know endure and constantly scribe, you know, for righteousness within this ministry. It's going to be, you know, based on your individual mindset. All right. Now there's a uh, body of believers that aid, you know, in edifying. All right, exhorting, you know, rebuking when necessary, admonishing, you know, watching. You know, there's a body, you know, that the Yahweh Bashim Shah has set up to be a service. All right, to the believers, but at the end of the day, each and every individual has to believe, all right, for themselves, man, has to have faith for themselves, have to be uh, motivated for themselves. When you read Romans 14 and 5, it says, One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike, all right, because within, within this ministry, you got different walks, you got brothers, you got different sufferings. All right, even your few sisters, man, you got, you know, your suffering, you know, everyone has their own personal, you know, suffering and, and sacrifice and, you know, and, and some, <clears throat> you know, believe we're going to be stronger than others, but at the end of the day, all right, as you read this last part, it says, let every man, all right, that's every individual be fully persuaded in his own mind. All right, within your own mind, because it starts within your mind. That's why when Satan, you know, begins, you know, to antagonize brothers, what does he start in your mind? All right, through doubt, through lust, through, you know, uh, confusion. All right, through uh, uh, get you to condemn yourself constantly. You know, he starts in your mind. You know, and we have to. In this ministry, we have to develop a strong enough mind, a strong enough mind to know that He is, and just to believe on Him in every situation. Apply the scriptures in every situation. You know, no one can convince you to apply the scriptures. You know, to your situation, you have to be fully persuaded that that's the best answer. All right, for your problem. No, you know, no one can convince us to do that we have to be fully persuaded no one can convince uh, uh, uh someone to repent all right that person has to repent because they're fully persuaded there's a certain fear that they develop all right and with that fear a certain faith they have in, in knowing that we can receive mercy in the time of chaos that we can be delivered at the time of yahweh we can be joint heirs and rule with yahweh man if the gospel don't motivate you, nothing will. If the promises of the Bible don't motivate you, nothing will. You know? All the videos and lessons that come out about what we coming into. Alright? Even the suffering. Even when you, when you fully persuaded of the reward, you don't think about the suffering that much, man. When you fully persuaded that he is and the scriptures constantly tell us to fear not, fear not, you know, scriptures constantly telling us to fear not. When he talks about trouble, he come right behind and say, fear not, you know, and that comforts us, man. So the scriptures don't comfort you if the scriptures don't motivate you, nothing will. You got to be fully persuaded, all right, by what's written. Ain't nothing can be said outside of what's written that's gonna persuade 
All right, you to do what you need to do, or you to change what you need to change. You know, scripture say that every man be fully persuaded in his own mind, man. It starts in your mind. All right. Even your house shy. All right, I think he said that when um, I think that was a John. St. John chapter 5 <laughs> verse uh, 1 alright this is uh, this is John 5 44 it says how can you believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that coming from the most high only and that's the only honor we seek we don't seek honor that come from our co-workers, our spouse, or, you know, people in this society or social media world. No, we seek honor of Yahweh by Shema Shah. you know, the things that are pleasing unto him. You know, the things that he's pleased with, you can feel it in your spirit when you're being pleasing to Yahweh by Shema Shah, and there ain't no feeling like it, man. The hell with everyone else, man. All right? And it says, do, it said, do not think that I will accuse you to the Father, there is one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. You see, because at the end of the day, all right, the Bible either going to just either way, because what the, what the, what the wicked scribes and Pharisees was doing, they was going against what is written. Moses spoke of Yahweh shot. He told Israel to hearken unto Yahweh Shai. So they were so high and mighty about the law and this and that. But the same the same uh, book that they called themselves trusting in, the rights of Moses, it condemned them. Because they wouldn't hearken to Yahweh Shai, which is commanded of us in the, in, 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 you know, in the rights of Moses. When you go into... Uh, 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 It was a commandment to, to hearken unto your house shot. You see? Verse 46, it said, For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. You see? So, at the end of the day, if, 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 if the scriptures don't persuade you, like the scriptures didn't persuade the scribes and Pharisees to follow your house shot, so there was nothing your house shot could say or do. You know, there was nothing. That he, it was no miracle. They seen the miracles. They seen, they heard he walked on water. They know about the dead being raised. They knew about, you know, the feeding the 5,000, the multiplying the food, turning water to wine. They seen all that. They heard about it. They was there. But there was nothing that could be done to persuade them because they didn't believe what was written. There, there ain't nothing we can do. We not here to convince. All right, we ain't here to convince no man to do nothing. We just here to teach, and if they, if the teaching don't invoke something in you, ain't nothing we can do. All right, dealing with a woman, we not here to convince a woman. All right, about multiple women and a woman being in order. No, if the writings don't convince you, ain't nothing we can do. All right, you gotta be fully persuaded. We not here. You know, to, to the baby you went to this thing and hold your hand and, you know, try to hopscotch around your emotions and make you get it. No, if the word don't get get you to believe, if the word don't fully have you persuaded, there's nothing we can do, man. All right? If you don't believe in the promises just because they're written, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> you know? Every man has to be fully persuaded within his own mind. All right? Every believer has to be fully persuaded. Now, this is going back into Abraham, Romans 4.20. It says, he staggered not, all right, at the promise of the Most High through unbelief, 
but was strong in faith, giving glory to the Most High. Abraham believed just cause he was. Abraham was fully persuaded. All right, there was nothing you could do. All right, to convince Abraham otherwise, nothing. All right, even he was ready to sacrifice his son. Why? Because he was fully persuaded that he is. All right. Go on verse 21. It says, and being fully persuaded. You see that? It says, being fully persuaded that what he had promised. You see? That what he had promised, he was able also to perform. He was fully persuaded in the power of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, man. You know? And every man has to be fully persuaded for themselves, man. You know? So, that's the point. I just want to bring that out. Something I was meditating on last night. You know, Lord will, you brothers and you few sisters are edified. Until the next time, I say, Shalom. Call me Yashallah. A Bible ball. DTA soon.